Well, London has a lot of, um, you know, places that are sometimes quiet where you can go, sit down, uh, relax, but that is, uh, you know, creating, uh, you know, the time as well. Uh, this is a uh, welcome to the White Oak Gardens, as you can see there. Uh, it is quite uh, very close to the London Eye, which is just, uh, you know, a little bit away from uh, these particular side. Uh, the Scotland Yard is there, you know, the Ministry uh, of, um, you know, the Defence is there. And as you can see, that is the London Eye there. So each place is has its own uniqueness. I'll be talking about them, but for today, uh, it's all about these beautiful garden where you can come down. Uh, it is actually open to the public. Uh, most of the time, you know, these kind of places are open to the public, but not every day. So let's go through it as well. Uh, it is called the City of the Westminster Parks, uh, enjoyed by thousands of visitors all the year round. This site is one of the over 100 green spaces in the city, which is managed by the Park Service Westminster Park. The gardens and open space have, over the years, been consistent award-winning in competition, such as the London Garden Square uh, competition that is organized by the London Garden Square Society and the Green Flag. It also uh, has its own opening times as well, so, you know, knowing the timing, so you don't end up come, uh, coming down and you realize that the gate is already closed so right here uh you know it's open weekday from 7 a.m uh during sunday and the public holiday uh you can only get in here from eight o'clock the gardens will be closed at the end of the british summer time you know as well um if you like any further information you can contact them as well so now let's have a look at the garden itself uh as you can tell there's a lot of people sitting down you know uh, quietly uh, I mean, sometimes you need that quietness as well, where you can relax. Uh, you know, each of the statues has uh, its own uh, details, and uh, this one is called uh, William William Tydell, the first translator of the New Testament into the English from the Greek. He was born A.D. fourteen eighty four. He died in Matai. Uh, at the Vivodo in Belgium in AD 1536. Thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. The entrance of thy word giveth light. That is Psalm 119 to uh, verse 105. And these, uh, as you can see there, you know, is this individual, so many uh, people are here, very, very quiet, uh, serene, it's a beautiful garden. Uh, but one thing about garden is that when you're coming down, you know, bring your own little, uh, you know, uh, nibbles, uh, bring a book uh, or whatever you can make out of the time that you're going to be spending here. Uh, there's a lot of gardens around the country, uh, depending on wherever you are. Uh, if you're going to be in London, definitely find the time to visit such a garden like this. Once again, uh, this is part of my, you know, 24 years in UK as I take you around all those places quietly. Uh, let's see who this gentleman is uh, from the information. Uh, since if you can find any information about uh, this particular person, I can't seem to find any. There's a table tennis there as well. There's a lot of people that are always, you know, coming around here to sit down, uh, especially those that are working uh, within these vicinity as well so if those that are working with this vicinity you will always uh you know this building was erected uh in 1888 uh i'm talking about the statue as well so this is a beautiful garden uh one thing about london is all about the timing so most people that walk in the city uh for the one hour break you can come down here you know and enjoy you know the beautiful you know settings of the garden as well well um, if you like to find out more or you have a particular garden uh, that you want us to check, uh, put the comment below and we will find the time, you know, to get into that garden and bring the video back to you as well. But for now, as I'm just making my way out of this beautiful garden, uh, let's see, this is a very beautiful uh, sculpture, as you can tell. Uh, and this sculpture 
let's say is a squirrel so this is a squirrel um, squirrel to mark the king coronation we are celebrating one of the king's many passion his love for nature uh, the king has long been a supporter of the nature um, the British woodland including his role as a patron um, of the Red Squirrel Survivor Trust and has brought together the organizations that are concerned with the com com conservation, conservation and the preservation of the British native broadleaf woodland. So you can tell that this is a very, uh, very beautiful, uh, you know, squirrel. What do you think? Do you have something like this in uh, a country you're coming from? Why not let us know? And uh, probably we can talk about it. But again, um, this is a beautiful one, uh, squirrel, that is been done uh, as the king was having the coronation as well. And as I am about to exit this garden, the question is, what garden are you going to talk to me about from your own country? Put it down there and let's discuss.